Tonight we are learning how Harris County Sheriff's deputies were able to arrest nearly a dozen Greenpeace protesters who were suspended from the Fred Hartman Bridge. Channel 2 anchor Andy Sirota is speaking tonight with deputies about the high angle bust. When they first got to the scene, Harris County SWAT deputies were trying to figure out how complicated this rescue mission was going to be. They had to craft a plan fairly quickly. They'd been watching media coverage, so they had a strong sense of what they were stepping into. The Fred Hartman Bridge was closed for hours yesterday as Harris County SWAT deputies arrested Greenpeace demonstrators suspended over the Houston Ship Channel in protest of fossil fuels. You could tell by the equipment and the setup uh, that the people there knew what they were doing. A high angle rescue operation is something deputies Luther Etta, Scott Cogburn, and David Wren had trained for, but they'd never gone over the side of a bridge, so it was unlike anything they had done before. When you're coming off that edge, it's it's nerve wracking. But once you get down, it's almost a uh, it's almost peaceful. They worked in pairs, repel gloves, harness, fighting 30 mile per hour winds that were pushing them after they repelled off the side of the bridge. What I tell myself is work in your in your three foot bubble. Work work in front of you, not around you. Descending 80 feet below. And this is what we would drop down to the protester. They would attach their end on themselves and then disconnect their own line. Everyone connected to the protest was taken into custody without incident, charged with impairing, interrupting critical infrastructure, among other things. This is a unique new charge. Uh, this will be the first time that it's ever been utilized in Texas. So we've We've used it, and now we have 31 uh, individuals who are going to be facing felony charges and facing this charge specifically. A spokesperson with the Port of Houston telling us tonight this protest had no economic impact on the port. At least one of the protesters was supposed to go before a judge at 6 o'clock. They're all due in court on Monday. Near downtown tonight, Andy Sirota, KPRC Channel 2 News.